everybody. We're on Farming Simulator 22 at Maple Farms. This is all we got is a pickup for this series. No fields, just a pickup. So what we're going to do is okay. Let's see this one here. Let's see where are we at? Should be right there. Oh no. Not that one. That one. This one here. We're gonna buy this house. It's gonna be our house. We don't have anything other than this. You see, we only got about 4,600. And that's going to be our house. This is going to be our house. Sweet. Alright. We're going to work our way up and see how much money we can make. And... See if we can become a millionaire. There's no gooseneck in that. The reason why I chose this truck is because the beds are interchangeable. I can upgrade the truck along the way. Look at the headers coming off of that thing. Alright, let's see what we got for a contract. Alright, we got plenty of harvesting contracts and we got a plowing contract. I think what we're going to do is we're going to accept some of these contracts here. No Zach Durham. He's got two contracts here. Same machinery. So twelve seventy eight. Six, I'm going to tell you what, we're going to borrow equipment on this one. Actually, we just accepted the contract on that one. Wait. Why did it not tell me my equipment? I, bor I borrowed equipment. Let's go check to see if we got equipment. Okay, we did. We did. Excellent. I'm just leave my truck running for a minute. There are seven farms on this map, I believe. We're going to end up buying one of them.
<coughs> Alright, so we also want to accept this contract, but do not want to borrow equipment. So square. Boom. 58 and 30. 31. 58 and 31. Small tractor here. Right. I'm going to take the header to the field. There are 20 collectibles on this map, but I. I don't think I'm going to be collecting any. 58, 31. There's 31 right there. There's 58 up there. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do this one down here first. See you guys at the field. If I get my cruise control set right, there we, there we go. This is better. Well, we harvesting, doing the contract, doing the thing. on the discount equipment stuff and there's a pallet of olive oil for 7,000 I think I'm going to take a loan out from the bank $10,000 buy the pallet of olive oil and actually you know what I don't have any way to pick it up so I think I'm going to have to pass on it. Never mind. So I've been watching the forums from Giants, watching the, all the uh, information that's coming out for the Platinum expansion later on this month. Actually, it's in about 10 days from now, from the time I'm recording. Tell me guys, what do you guys think about the, uh, the Platinum expansion? Got a bunch of logging updates in there. Got a whole bunch of new equipment. Most of it's uh, dealing with logging. Doing some iron ore and stuff like that. <clears throat> what do you guys think? I'm excited to see what all what all comes with it. I don't know why I'm zoomed out so far. I cannot see. Should have just done that. Oh, I'm all over the road. 
Christmas. Yeah, on November the 15th, Platinum ex Expansion comes out free with the D um, Year 1 Season Pass. What do you guys think about it? Got some login updates. Got some cable yarders. Got, um... Going to be doing some rock busting out there for contracts, cutting trees down for contracts, building a roller coaster, building boats, adding new productions. I'm not crazy about the production side of Farming Simulator 22, but you know I understand it's a it's, it is a cool feature. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty neat some of what they've come up with but it's just not for me but I I mean it's not something I'll, I, mean, I say it's not for me but I use them you know but I'm not crazy about them I think that some of or not some of them but almost every single one of the Giants production mods or production facilities are just far too slow it does not take months and months to make butter or sugar it, it, it doesn't take that long it might take a week to run a tanker of milk into butter it is not going to take three months I'm also excited to see what some of the modders are going to be coming up with with this cable yard attachment here maybe we're going to be uh, seeing some some tow trucks and stuff like that come out it's actually usable Maybe I can recover some of my lost tractors off in the water or something, you know? Because <laughs> that's happened a couple times. Yeah. Oh, I'm barely pulling this hill. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't think about it. I accepted two contracts. Did not look at what we was harvesting. I know wheat on field 31, I think, whatever that is that we're down here on going to now but I didn't look to see where it's going and I didn't look to see what crop was coming out of the other field and where it's going I hope it's not the same crop going to the same place we need to look at it well how did I pass it Sorry, I'm driving in your corn. Today's not my day driving. Oh, there it is down there. Uh, went one field too far. Sitting here talking, and I missed the field. <sighs> yep. Well, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah, that, that's it. I'm not excited about the roller coaster part of it. I mean, it, building a roller coaster has nothing to do with farming. I'll argue all day that logging is part of farming. Always is, always has been, always will be part of farming. The art of cutting trees down and hauling them off is called tree farming. I 
I've spent the majority of my life out in the woods myself personally cutting trees harvesting trees and hauling them off to our sawmill we had our own sawmill we cut boards cross ties three by threes three by fours four by sixes four by fours six by sixes six by eights well, like six by nine seven by nine seven by eights cross ties you know we'd cut pine oak whatever and we would haul our own lumber in our own boards you know we'd haul it all we would do from start to finish cut them saw them haul them done I hated it <laughs> I did especially when we was sawing pine I would come home and the whole front side of my shirt would just be completely covered with pine sap I would absolutely ruin clothes yeah alright I'll see you guys here in a minute when I'm finished with this field let you know what the yield was or yield is then I'll get it hauled to wherever we're going and then I'll let you know if uh I screwed up and accepted two contracts of the same crop to the same destination. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Alright, well, we're on our way down to the farmer's market. We got a full trailer of 22,500 liters of wheat behind us. We got another 3,300 some odd liters in the combine still yet. We're going down here to the farmer's market to drop it off. And I, I looked and on the contracts, yeah, I, I screwed up. So the other contract that we got is also for wheat and it is also going to the farmer's market. Brr. Oh boy. Okay, I might have to uh, finish out all this contract here and then borrow equipment on another contract. That way I can do the other, other contract. I don't know if I'm going to pull this hill. We're struggling. top oh, oh oh we're dragging on down here we go right there's the turn to two miles an hour oh oh there we go here we go all right I'll see you guys in just a minute at the farmers market when I'm dropping off the last of the wheat that's in the combine okay so I don't think I'm gonna have to borrow equipment for field 58 because the extra from this contract went towards field 58 which is 2% no it's pretty cool okay I think I can do this I gotta just go down there and grab what's left and bring it down here drop it off and then move all the stuff up to field 58 start harvesting it and then all the extra total from both fields 
will be at the end of 58. So, you know, then I'll be able to complete both contracts at the end. Alright, we're pulling in here with the last of the crop off of field 31. It is 3,356 liters. This should count towards towards uh, 56 or 58, whatever it is. Yeah. We're going to dump this up in here. Yeah. And... 7% transported for field 58. <coughs> cool. We're going to get everything moved up to field 58 and get started harvesting on that field. Alright. Got all the equipment here. We're backing up. Get this header about right there. I don't think I'm off in the field with the wheels. No. Nope. Yeah, we're good. We're not damaging any crops. We're going to start the harvester up. I'm going to pull up here. Get hooked up. Back up just a little bit. Now we're going to move this header trailer out of the way. Alright, now that we got that header trailer out of the way, we'll go over here and jump into the harvester and let's get to harvesting. Uh, let's see, it's a pretty good sized field, I think. I'm going to go down to the other end. Start down there. And I'll see you guys when we're done harvesting this field and let you guys know what we got off of it oh, I gotta undo the open the harvester up <clears throat> get that opened up let's get this thing rolling if I had some more money I would uh, lease that pickup tool what is it this one here forage pickup it's cost about three thousand three hundred I think ish to lease it it's a mod I forget who it's by but then we'll be able to pick up this straw even though it's a contract field makes more money but I don't I only have eight hundred and eleven dollars so I can't lease it so oh well We'll get on to harvesting this. We might do that on uh, the next contract that we get. Yeah, we'll see how we get on with this one. I don't know how much extra we're going to get, how much extra we're going to get paid. But it should be pretty good. I'll see you guys here shortly.
harvester is full, I'm going to run back here and I'm going to grab the tractor and top it off. <clears throat> There's not much room left in it. I think I can only hold about 2,050, 2,500 2, liters, something like that. Left in the trailer, that's all it has got left. And that'll be the first trailer load off of this field. Yeah, should only be. I think this only holds 22,500. So. Get this thing topped off. We'll then get back in the har harvester. Finish filling that thing back up with the what's what I take out. And then we'll haul off what we got in the trailer. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's get back to cutting some wheat. in with the first actual full load off of field 58 contract I believe is sitting at 38 percent yep and the other is saying job complete we don't want to <laughs> complete on that yet not to this field 58 is done Here goes, there goes. Was going to end up putting us a contract is at 40% now and 41% transported. Let's get this back to the field. Contract is at 45%. Let's get on back to the field. This thing really, really struggles. Mr. Zach also has a contract up for plowing which has a bigger tractor and I thought about accepting the plowing contract just to get the tractor to swap out with this one because this thing is struggling going up the hills alright we're up here at the farmers market delivering the last full load we got another 8,000 something back in the harvester back at the field but this is the last full load let's see where it puts us this should put us at contract complete oh yeah there we go contract complete 58 with an additional almost five thousand dollars and we still have almost a full hopper back in the uh, combine nice let's go pick that up get that delivered and before wait a minute Ooh, wait a minute we got the money we can now lease that pickup 
that forage pickup, put it on the front of this dude. If it's just got a three point link. Well, I don't think this is going to have the horsepower for it though. Hmm. We've got the money to lease it though. If we could use it. Make some extra money. Let's see what I come up with. Well, a solution has presented itself. So Mr. Zach also wanted a field plowed and he's given me this tractor here to use to plow the field and also I could, he said I could use it to pick up the straw off of his field instead of him having to plow it under. Cool. This is the last of the week going in. And that was about another 4200 on top of what we're going to make off with the contract. So we're going to go back up to field 58. We're going to pick up. We're going to go around this tree first. Uh, we're going to pick up all the straw off of that field and get it sold. Then go do the same thing for field 31. And then we'll complete on both of those contracts. And then we'll go plow the field for Mr. Zach here. I'll see you guys here in just a moment. Alright, we're back up here to Straw Bell's cell point. I'm going to unload the first load. It's not going to be much because it's only, it's less than a hundred to a thousand. I'm going to say about 15,000. Yeah, 1,500 is what I meant, but it's uh, 1,348. Yep, that's about what I was expecting. Not bad. We'll keep doing it. This thing worked like a charm, too. I love it. So we're going to get back at it. We're going to go back to the field, get another load, come on back, and drop it off. I'll keep track of how many loads we get off of each field, and I'll let you know whenever I get done. Well, I don't remember completing those two contracts for the harvesting contracts for the wheat but I guess I did and in doing so I didn't get any more of the straw off the fields all I ended up was, was two loads Oops. which you know, two loads is two more loads than I would have had which is about two thousand six hundred dollars. So yeah, that did not cover the cost of the uh, forage pickup machine. Oh, if I don't get over, I'm going to lose some. Of that. There we go. Okay. So and also, <clears throat> I ended up leasing a trailer which I still had the forage pick up and I still have the, the trailer and I wish this thing would get its gears right I'm not doing that that's that's the game doing that there we go so yeah I still got the trailer I still got the forge pick up I could send them back but I'm thinking about picking up another harvesting contract that has straw Let's see what was it? right here this wheat. Do this one. And then there's oats. I can use uh, the forge pickup to collect a straw on both of those. I missed a spot right there. And it'd make it worthwhile for me. I can do that in carry on let's see what we can let's see what we can do somehow or another uh, I had create fields turn on when I started <laughs> whoops 
and this plow is a little heavy for this tractor. Come on. And I think it's uh, a little too big for I mean, it, I don't think this tractor has quite has the, uh, has the horsepower it needs. It doesn't have quite the amount of horsepower it needs. There we go. I think I said it right at that time. Ugh. All right, well, I'm going to continue on plowing out this field. Oh, and that's going to get me another roughly 6,000. Well, I've got a minus the uh, cost of the leasing the machines. But, what can we do? We broke. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch this. I will see y'all when I'm done. Well, the plowing is done. So we can accept the money on that contract. And as you can see, I'm driving along here with some silage bales. And I did a silage harvest, or a, uh, not a silage harvesting, but a baling contract for silage bales it's done <clears throat> it's done and I ended up with 11 bales I think I got one looks like about to fall off extra so 11 extra bales that I'm gonna put these last three in my backyard because I got nowhere else to store them that's where all the other bales are. We just got them stacked up in here. We're gonna let the kids play on them. Let them have a little bit of good fun. Jumping bale to bale. I used to do the same thing when I was a kid. It was all kind of fun. I loved it. Well, got one trying to roll off. Kids will have fun playing on those. I'm going to take this back down to the field. It's where the baler is. That's where the uh, windrake and the uh, bale wrapper. That's where all that stuff is at. So we're just going to take this back down there to him, his field, and see his equipment. So, yeah. Seems like a good place to leave it. That's where also my pickup truck is. Oh, I also, um, while doing the bailing contract, I took my trailer that I've got leased as well as the forage pickup and picked up what little grass was left on the ground after I got done bailing all the bales there. I seen that I was going to be a little bit, or have a little extra that wouldn't make a full bale, so... I just put it in the in the trailer, and that's sitting down in my backyard. Also, you might have seen it. I don't know. But I'm gonna go look at a couple of farms, and that one I know is out of my price range. I'm going to have somewhere around 24000 after I complete these two contracts. So I can afford two different ones. Woohoo! I, I think there's two, maybe three I can afford. Let's see.
Yeah, see, there's the trailer and the forge pickup right there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go look at a couple of farms and see which one I want to buy. And then we'll move all the equipment down there sometime or another. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll collect and collect. 23,710. Alright, so I know I can afford this one. It's 19,000. There's no animal pins on this, but there is a silo. This one's 23,270. I can afford that one. That one's got some animal pins on it. This one has animal pins on it, but I can't afford it. Um, this one, a little out of my budget. And this one's out of my budget too, I believe. Yep. And this one here, definitely out. And this one is a little out. 36, yeah. So I can afford that one, that one. I'm going to go look at this one real quick, which I'm currently right here, so I'm going to go down here, take it, check it out. Alright, I think we're coming up on a little farm plot right here. Yeah. Let's see. Looks like the Karma 16, so that's going to hold like. Um, uh, seed. And mineral feed, I think. There's some shed space. Got a silo. That's a horse horse pasture I think, or stable, whatever you want to call it. Horse stable. Got another pretty good sized little shed. Open shed. Fuel tank. Little shed there. Got a nice shed here. This is the Meridian. Uh, I believe this is going to be the liquid fertilizer. We'll get rid of that too because we don't want it. Got another open shed. Uh, is this sheep? This is the sheep one, ain't it? Or is this the horse one? I don't know. And that's chickens. Another shed. No, this is the uh, this is the liquid. This is the liquid one here, and the other that other one was the uh, solid fertilizer. Hey, we got a little house here. Cool. All right, this one we can afford, and I think I'm going to buy it. Let's see. I don't know. Okay, so we do not get the chicken coop, or the other here, or the other here, the uh, the two, the chicken, or the sheep, and the horses. Okay, so we don't get that stuff. To get that, we gotta buy that. That, and that. That's pretty cheap for a chicken. We might end up buying that pretty soon. But, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. Buy it. That is now mine. Like I said, we don't get access to that, but I think we do have access to the house. Oh yeah, we got a sleep trigger. This is now uh, liquid fertilizer. Yep, see, told you. We gotta go past all this stuff that we can't use. Chicken coop, that. Let's just see, what is that? Horse barn. We don't even want that anyway. And chicken coop. 
and the other was sheep, I bet. Yep. Alright. So, I want to take a look at silos here, because we don't want... We don't want that, because we're going to put in a multi fruit silo over here, instead of the silo we got. Because we don't want this either. Uh, did we not get access to this? Okay, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get rid of that. And the other two. Alright, so... actually made a bit of money on that so we can afford to buy oh wait a minute forgot to sell that thing we don't need this either there we go Now I'm fixing to buy the chicken coop. I'm gonna buy the horse paddock, the uh, horse pasture, horse stable, and I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't want the horses. I don't do horses, but we are gonna get the sheep also, and we're going to uh, get some sheep in there. We're gonna get some chickens in here. Yeah, so let's do that real quick. There we go. Ah, that's better. So now we own the chicken coop. We have access to this field here. We've got grass growing in it right now. That's ours. Alright, got all of these sheds. We also have the uh, the sheep barn here. And this huge, huge grass field here. So we can get all this mode. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. That's where I'm gonna leave it. On the next step on the next video. I'm gonna get everything off camera transferred up here. I'm probably gonna buy a uh or lease. Uh, bell trailer. I might buy a bell trailer since I got a truck. I can just load it on it. I might lease a telehandler or something to load all the bells up. Bring them up here. Unwrap them. Stick them in the silo. Store them. Store my grass that I got in the trailer down there. Store it in the silo. I need to get rid of this right here. That's ugly. I'll get rid of that off camera too. Get all the equipment that I got moved up here. Yeah, we'll be golden. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. 
whatever you may do. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.